Hey everyone, I am back with another vlog video. Today I'm going to be talking about organizational structure, um, exactly what that is in a time when I was a part of an organization that was very structured um, in Mercedes Benz. I had worked there for two years. So to get started, organizational structure is a system that outlines how certain activities are directed in order to achieve the goals in an organization. These activities include roles, rules and responsibilities and it also determines how information flows between levels within the company so like i said i was a part of mercedes-benz company um, i worked there for two years i was actually a product concierge so what my role was when someone bought the car so at the very end of their buying process they came and saw me and i showed them exactly how to work everything inside of the car I paired their Bluetooth, their garage door, every nook and cranny, every button in that car I went over. Um, when you think of a Mercedes Benz, these are people who are retired who are purchasing these vehicles, so they're a lot older. Um, half of them didn't even know how to unlock their phone, if I want to be honest. But um, I had to have extreme patience with these people. But um, going back to the organizational structure, the buying process of a car was super simple. When they came in, of course, they met with the salesman. Um, they bounced prices and once they were ready to go, they went and seen the finance manager, which is where they bought and paid for the car. And then they came and saw me at the end. So there is a lot of people in between that have individual roles. Um, you have the service department. So when their car needs service, they go to the service department to take care of their needs as far as fixing their vehicle. Um, we have a detail department. So the cars go back to detail as they're doing their finance paperwork to get cleaned and be sparkling by the time it comes to me to go over the car. Um, we have a parts department. So once you have your car, if you need any uh, extra accessories, um, if you need a keychain, if you need a new tire, windshield, whatever, you went to parts for that sort of thing. Um, we had a upstairs department called BDC and they handled all of the um, like dealer trades, as far as inventory goes onto the dealership and then of course you have the managers who price out everything at the dealership and give you those discounts and kind of you know nudge you if you wanted to get a little more off they might could take off five thousand dollars you never know um, but this organization was super structured everyone had one role no one did multiple things we had an inventory manager who all he did was worry about inventory in the cars um, it was everything was literally everyone did one job and we worked together as a collective group and in, in total we averaged like I think 150 cars sold a month so it was really great um, it was super great organization to be a part of and that is something that is rules roles and responsibilities everyone was responsible for doing their job they had a role to do their job and of course there was rules that we had to follow as far as order of the customers and you know order of who goes into finance first or who I do the delivery with first or, you know, all those things are part of the success of the company.